Good morning, everyone. How are we this morning? Let me just check that I have. Yes, I have gone live. So that's good. Can you believe it's February? I mean, come on. Where did January go? I mean, I know we had a late Christmas because we had a bit of a change of plans over Christmas. But even so, where has February? Where has January gone? It's just not good enough. Anyway, time for coffee in my stamping up coffee mug, which is getting a little warm, but oh, it it holds the coffee really nicely hot for about four hours because I forgot it last week and four hours later discovered that there it was still. Um, oh, I've just realised I haven't got my top light on. So I'm looking a little dark. That might be a bit better, hopefully. So, yes. <sighs> good morning, Shaz. So, it's good morning. Got Ospors, we've got Shaz. Um, it's a sunny morning here in rural Oxfordshire. Um, there's a few puffy clouds, and we are. The suggestion is that there might be a little bit of rain later, but it's quite a nice day. It's a little breezy. Um, but we fortunately weren't hit by either of the two storms that hit the north of the country. It was windy um, earlier in the week, but not nearly as bad as it was elsewhere. So, yeah. Hello, Joanne. I need to look at the news and see if everyone up in Scotland, it was the east coast of Scotland and the north of England, um, and quite a lot of them lost power. You're expecting a storm today. Ooh, no. Hello, Margaret. Glad it's looking lovely and sunny with you. Blue skies and the odd rainbow in South Devon. Whoa. Rainbow, however, does suggest rain. Um, just saying. Just saying. Um, but yeah, no, it's a nice day. I finally got round to actually mowing my, in inverted commas, lawn. Um, it's taken a bashing over the winter, but I managed to mow it on Sunday. Yeah, I think it was Sunday. Um, so hopefully it'll start looking a little more lawn-like in the next couple of days. Morning, Pam. Nice and bright with you. And you didn't get any storms either. Good. Just the odd bit of drizzle down in Devon. Fair enough. But yeah, as I say, they are suggesting that we might get a bit of dampness later in the day but I'm hoping not had some worms but thankfully thankfully no damage I, yeah I wasn't quite sure what that meant Margaret I'm not surprised you've taken it back had some worms wind I'm guessing but yeah so yes it's a nice bright sunny day it's the first of February which means of course there are only 28 days including today left for celebration so you know you meant storms i thought you did um but yes 28 days left of celebration <sighs> and if you go to the stamping up website shop uh this morning you'll see we've got the new all together collection um the stamp set and dies will be carrying on for a while oh i need to get all the details the blend certainly will oh yes and happy lunar new year um i have some friends who do um who do celebrate the new year um what was i going to look up oh yes the stuff about all to get the all together collection because i get very confused with what's available when and for how long um the blends are definitely going to be in the new catalogue. Um, but I can't remember what the situation is with the everything else. The paper is only available while stocks last. That much I do know. So the Here Together stamp set, Here For You Dies, Here Together bundle and the collection are to, available in English, French and German. Um, items available during the promotion can be added to demonstrate a customer workshop or online orders and of course the starter kit um, no limits 
you get stamping rewards, you obviously get celebration items, um, the following exclusive products are available while stocks last, so the Here For You dies, the bundle and the collection. So that means that the paper is going to be available after that. I'm not convinced by that, to be honest. The blends I know are, but I'm not convinced that the paper is. How strange. Anyway, morning, Nora. Oh, while I remember, anyone who bought my product shares, specifically the paper, um, the New Horizon paper is now in and it's on its way to you. Nora, I've sent yours to your home address rather than your P.O. box. I hope that's all right. Um, but I just thought I'd let you know that it's gone to your home address, the one that I've had for the last three years or so. Um, so, yes. Uh, bum, bum, bum. But anyway, it's lovely, the Altogether Collection. I'm going, to, I'm going to stop waffling about that because that's not what we're using today, but it is available. And I'm going to probably do an Altogether Stamp Camp later in the month. I've got my New Horizon class has just gone uh, up for you to reserve. Um, if you look at my website, you will see the details there and there's a link to my newsletter where you can see how to order it. Um, so do go and have a look at that. It's already very popular. I'm not surprised. The New Horizon paper is gorgeous. Um, I have to say it's going to be one of the easiest classes for me to des finish designing. I have designed most of it. I've just got to finish a couple of bits off. The papers are gorgeous and one of them looks like the view of the Whittenham Clumps, which is the view that we currently have from our kitchen window. Hello, Jan. What did you miss? Nothing. Me waffling. So seven and a half minutes on. Um, I need to do my quick. I am a I am Lizzie Orr. I'm from Old Stables Crafts. I am an independent stamping up demonstrator based in, U <coughs> in the UK. Uh, working across France, Germany, Austria, the Netherlands and the UK. So if you wish to order anything from me, I would be delighted if you would do that. There's a link below in the description bar to my online store. Uh, if you place a qualifying order using the host code, you will get a free gift from me. And for February, that is the Mischievous Mice host stamp set. Um, so, yeah it's going to be fun um and of course and it's a 45 pound order to qualify which of course means that you get a celebration item for free so uh it is my job it's not just a hobby uh i think that's all i need to do um this is a youtube live if you can see live somewhere on the right uh, sorry left hand side of your screen that means you're watching live and you can interact with me by leaving comments in the chat if you're watching the replay you can leave a comment below the description bar and i will get back to you um after the event right hello brenton so I am going to flip my camera down. We are using uh, the Awesome Otters, which for some reason, and I do now know why, I keep calling Otterly Awesome. Um, and it's because one of the sentiments in this is Otterly Awesome. Hello, Val from Queensland in Australia. Yes. Um, so these are the stamps. So you've got it's birthday time. You are Otterly Awesome three otters and a party hat. Now I have done a little bit of prep, but only a little bit because I want to use blends. And for me, it's better to stamp a wee bit before you're going to use your blends so that the memento, which is the recommended ink, is dry by the time you come to color with your blends. Please do not use stays on when you are intending to use blends because it will end up as an awful mess. Now, I have already die cut um, the pieces from the dies, but I will then be doing more die cutting, so you haven't really missed anything. So I'm using both the rectangles and the circles. Um, I've die cut onto white 
uh, so basic white, which is what I'm going to use to do my colouring. And then I'll show you what papers I'm going to use. And yes, of course, they are from Celebration. Why wouldn't they be? So for the rectangle one, I'm going to be using this image and this image. Um, we've got two rectangles. One is slightly larger than the other. Um, no, they're not. They are exactly the same size. Two are slightly larger than the other in height, and then the other one's longer. Oh, dear Lord. Uh, it's going to be one of those days. My, um, my day has been slightly different from usual in that uh, I normally go to the gym twice a week, and because my dentist decided it was a truly good idea to change my hygienist appointment that was yesterday, so it was quarter of an hour earlier than I was anticipating, and they didn't ask me if that was all right, I had to change my gym appointment from Monday morning to Tuesday morning. So um, I'm a little bit thrown because I don't, yeah, well, I'm just a little bit thrown. So I've got everything I need mounted up. I will have been using every single one of the stamps by the time we finish. So first things first, uh, this will be for the second card that I'm making today, um, just so that it's ready to dry by the time we get there. So I'm just going to have this one just on this piece of basic white like that. I mean, it's it's a tight fit in that it doesn't actually fit, um, but we know what it looks like. Use, losing an ear, like my poor Pepper Purpot cat, um, you can still you still know that it's an otter and that it would have an ear, or maybe not if it's my Pepper Purpot cat, who seems to be getting on fine without his ear. Um, I won't recap on the woes of being Pepper Purpot, but yeah. So this is the otter that's peeking out of the water. And then we just need to do, actually, I'm going to pull out my pool party. And I'm going to have my It's Birthday time in Pool Party. And then I'm going to have a birthday hat either side. Morning, Jan. This weekend on Sunday, uh, we have our team retreat. Yay! Uh, we do them once basically once every catalogue, so three times a year. Whoops, knock things over, why don't I? Um, but yes, it's this Sunday. So that will be fun. All of the kits are in the post. So if they haven't al already arrived, team members, they should be with you any day. Now, hello, Helen from Michigan. So two party hats. Like that. So these I'm going to now pop to one side so that they can dry properly and bring in my circles for the one that I have already stamped. So I'm getting rid of this. This was just scrap. I've got a nice clean piece of grid paper. So I have already stamped. You are utterly awesome, which is why I keep thinking this is called utterly awesome. Hello, Barb from Toronto. So we've got your utterly awesome. This is in Misty Moonlight. Um, and you'll see why I'm doing things in various colours in a moment. Oh, can't pick things up. So we've then got a party hat and the face of the lying on his back with a fish otter. The fish and then the other two images. So we haven't got the whole of anything. Um, now, I want to pull out, once upon a time I had a cheat sheet on my colours, and it's gone, never mind, oh no, there, there it is, I knew I had a cheat sheet. So these are the new um, blends, the neutral, natural, anyway, the new 
blends that have come out with the all together. This is ivory and bronze as a comparison. Um, so I think I want number nine. It's actually 900, but hey. Uh, number seven. Ten, nine, eight, seven, seven, number seven, and number four. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So those three. I will need some colours for things like fish as well, but I'm going to start with these. So the lightest one I'm going to use for his belly. I have no idea if this is going to be correct colouring for an otter but I don't actually mind if it is or not, which I know I should, but I don't. And this is not going to be, you know, beautiful, it's a natural otter colouring. This is going to be, it's a cartoon picture colouring. So it's not going to be beautiful, beautiful blending. Now, I've said this before and I will say it again. Um, the ivory and bronze, I would suspect that those will not carry over because we've got all of these gorgeous skin tones now um, and these will be in the annual catalogue so my suspicion is that we will use lose the um, the bronze and ivory I don't know that for a fact but I can't see why they would keep the bronze and ivory if we've got all of these so if you like bronze and ivory, currently low inventory in Europe, um, now's the moment to get them. And on the subject of low inventory, um, please, 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 I know I keep harping on about this, but there is a reason. Please, if you want re-inkers or card or any of those other goodies for the 2020 to 2022 in colours, please can you start looking at them because some of them are on low inventory um already so yeah started playing with the new stamping blend tones today yay they are gorgeous aren't they hello ooh dozers dozens from southern ontario gosh we've got a couple of canadians morning lorna morning b so i've for the circles, I've done all of the light blend that I need. Uh, I'm then going to bring in my darker. This isn't the darkest, but it is the darker. And it is quite an, a pink, almost red tone. Um, but I think otters do have that sort of almost fox-like undertone. I don't know because I haven't I'm mean, as I say this isn't natural colouring this is me just having a go I will pick these up when I have done them I'm not doing you know amazing blend I'm just colouring but I quite like the idea of having a bit of um, warmth on the card So that's his leg. I've got a cat hair on the end of my blend. There's a surprise. And then his ear. And then I'll come back and do his nose with the 400. Or what I'm calling four. Hello, Claire. So, um, anyone who is thinking of getting the starter kit do remember that until the end of February you get to add two stamp sets two extra stamp sets free and they can be from the mini catalogue they can be from the annual catalogue up to you they can't be from celebration that's the only stipulation really um, you could probably add the all together stamp set and in fact we've got a new set that is also on early release from the annual catalog uh waves of the ocean and again you could add that to your starter kit 
If you're interested in waves, let me know and I can let you have the information. Um, but yes, it's on pre-order for demonstrators. And if they ever come out with someone on a surfboard, I can say that those waves are going to be awesome for anyone surfing. Just saying. So those of you in Australia who are on the coast, just, just a thought. Right, so that's that. Let's just come in with this. Hello, Wendy. So I'm just going to come in for his nose and then I'm going to bring in some other colours um, for... Oh, he needs a little bit more of the light one. 700, no, 700's the dark one. This one, just there. Right, so we need a fish, um, we need some party hat and we need some water. So I'm going to go trad with my fish and I'm going to go pumpkin. So it's got a goldfish. Info about the waves, please. Um, I will send it to you. Um, it's currently pre-order only. So for demos. Um, but yes. Right. So pool party. And... Now, which one did I put with which? That goes with that and that goes with that. Right, so I want Misty Moonlight. So I've just planned some of the cards that I'm, some of the colours that I'm doing. Right, so I'm going to start with that lot and then move on from there. Huh. So I don't often use the end of my, the brush end of my blends, but this is a fairly large expanse, so I'm going to. And then I will come in. This is the light pool party. And then I'll come in with the dark to do other bits. Yep, that's all I need for that. So then for the dark, we've got raindrops. Well, Splashes, not raindrops. I've got rain on my brain at the moment. And then a little bit of just random, random waves. So that's that little chappy all done. Then we've got the fish, which I'm just going to do in two colours of pumpkin pie. I've got his head here as well. And then... So I know people were asking me last week where I get my inspiration for what I'm going to craft given on any given day, particularly for my lives. And I did mention the group stamp through the catalogue challenge on Instagram and guess what today's stamp set is yep you guessed it it is awesome otters right so for this one I'm going to go quite I think it's going to end up quite garish but I don't care so we've got a pom-pom then I'm going to come in with light misty moonlight for and the, the garish I think is going to be the orange against the blues might be right so I'm doing light misty moonlight and then I'm going to do pool party uh, and I think I'll go dark for pool party and then I can put this card together and I have pre-done some of my layers so it shouldn't take too long to put together right so let me grab my layers for this one so I've got misty moonlight as my card base I've got balmy blue 
and so I should probably have used balmy blue for the water but never mind because pool party is in there anyway um, so this is from the Simply Marvelous and it is the blue obviously um, hello Bex <laughs> you need this do you Wendy they are very cute so let's pop that to one side and I'm going to bring in my large cut and emboss the big one and my very worn plates I must I, I promised myself that having cut my um, retreat I would l allow myself some new plates I just haven't dug them out yet so this is the die that I'm using which is from the picture this and I'm only going to use it on the paper um, like that so roll that through this is the easier one to do because it's round at the end so it goes through without any problem shared onto your page thank you Wendy yes if you enjoy what you're seeing uh, do like and share um, that would be awesome now while I've got this out just to save time later I am going to die cut my other piece of paper which is from the rainbows and this one I'm using the rectangles and I'm putting this through at a slight angle because it's going to go through without so much strain on the machine that way which also means it's easier for me to crank through going to do this for a male birthday on Friday excellent oh and that's something I should say the New Horizon papers great for men and women I have to say they are absolutely my sort of thing so if you would like to take the class um, you've got until next Tuesday up to and including uh, to sign up for that and then I'm hoping I'll get it out the following week um, all things being equal so let's pull this die off so the circles we don't need the rectangles we don't need we can obviously use those on another project um, just as circles and rectangles so don't throw them away because they will be useful Right, okay, so there are two ways of doing this and I'm going to do one of the cards one way and one of the cards the other way. This one I'm just going to have flat. Let's see which way up. I want it that way, I think. So I'm going to have this flat onto my balmy blue and then I'm just going to pop in my circles. What you can do is have this up and your um, pieces down, which is what I'll do for my second card and I will explain why I'm doing it for my second card rather than for this one when we get to my second card so seal now I do want this to be reasonably well attached so I'm using more than I would if this was just a layer so I will put some in the bits in the middle as well like that. Now this is not my favourite way of doing this. Thank you, Lorna. Um, I don't particularly like handling a piece that's sticky when you've got a narrow margin. Uh, I would rather have the adhesive on the card I'm sticking to rather than what I'm sticking. But obviously for this I need the adhesive to be in the right place. So that's our paper in place. And then all I need to do is to pop these in to the circles. So this time I will be adding the adhesive to the back. Let's just get rid of that string. Thank you. Again, I'm putting more adhesive in than I would normally, and I'm not using um, liquid adhesive purely because with a thinner paper 
or card rather the white the basic white being that little bit thinner uh, sometimes it can bubble a bit so this one has to go here because it's the only one that will fit in that circle then I'm gonna have my little chap down here my utterly awesome up here now what you could do if you wanted is not use white and have a white border and stamp through the holes um, obviously you'd have to stamp through the holes without getting your ink onto the um, onto the front thank you penny oh hang on we've got a visitor let me just get rid of our visitor bear with me one moment let's report him or her report okay sorry just had to get rid of our little visitor I'll keep my eye open because quite often they come in come along like buses um, so we've got our little fishy uh, which I'm gonna have there and then our little face I'm going to have there and then the party hat just there and then fold our card base obviously it needs a liner um, but as I often say I do the liners after I've written on them because sometimes I'm not very good at the writing bit now this I could pop up which I think I will actually um, because I can so uh, one layer of our dimensionals in the UK will get through um, the normal size letter slot at the post office so you don't have to pay the excess postage um, if you were to then put a pearl on top not so much uh, but if you keep it at one layer of dimensionals with nothing else on top of your card or your upper layer um, then it will go through a standard mail which is always useful to know because large letter is ridiculously expensive or it's a big jump however having said that I'm doing some training with um, a group of um, demos who are all either in Canada or the US good lord postage there oh anyway so there we go so we've got our one layer that is our first finished card obviously you can add different bits and in fact where is it there it is I think a little bit of wink of Stella on our water splashes would be quite nice just on the splashes just as a little something so that just I don't know if it's going to pick it up on the camera but anyway so that's our first card done woohoo right so our second card which I've got Knight of Navy, a piece of the rainbow paper and apparently a piece of gold as well. Um, so that's going to go on there, but this I'm going to pop up and I'm then going to pop my square bits, rectangles in. So the first thing I'm going to do is add some dimensionals to this because let's do the scary bit first. Then I'm going to colour my otters I thought I'd lost one um, and then finish it all off thank you I'm glad you enjoyed it so I am going to be quite uh, dimensional heavy you could use the strips for this our uh, foam strips the only thing I would say is that they are a little bit taller so in the UK, you are going to potentially hit the dreaded large letter. So yes, I was talking to them. We were talking about sending out uh, class kits um, with the Americans yesterday. And in the UK, you can send what they call a small parcel. Oh, thank you, Brenton. I must have missed them. Um, you, a small parcel which is within certain dimensions and then up to uh, two kilos in weight 
is if you buy the postage online so I've lost a pair of snips there they are uh, if you buy the postage online it is just three pounds actually I think it might even be two pounds ninety sorry I've got a slightly runny nose um, three pounds whereas in the states to send what I'm guessing is a small parcel even if you buy the parcel the the prepaid parcels which I gather are cheaper it's like fourteen dollars I mean it's just ridiculous um, so yeah I'm never going to complain about UK postage ever again well I will but by comparison and I gather and Brenton and your fellow Australians uh, I gather that postage costs in Australia make postage costs in the US look quite reasonable um, and we are also very lucky in Europe that we have a flat rate for our demonstrator orders or not demonstrator orders but stamping up orders um, we can opt to expedite at an additional cost but we do have a very competitive flat rate The other thing we were talking about is free postage. Um, so we were talking about, you know, Amazon and places that do Amazon Prime free postage, which obviously you are actually paying for because things that you order through Amazon Prime tend to be a little bit more expensive than the ones that don't do Prime. But also you're paying a, a, either a monthly or an annual fee for free postage. So it's not really free. Um, just saying. So our postage is a little more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A little more um, upfront, I suppose. Right, so again, I'm sticking something sticky to something not, and I want this to be reasonably square. Yes. Ah, so there we go. Hello, Judith. So we've got that stuck on. Phew, that was the difficult bit. I can relax a bit now. So I need to do my two otters. I was going to say beavers for a moment and they're not. So I'm going to bring in the same colours. So this is my palest. Now the blends for the, well these new tonal blends or skin toned blends uh, come in pairs, so just like other blends. Um, there are ten in total, so five pairs. But they are good for things other than skin tone. So I've used them a lot for um, colouring trees and you know anything that's brown, basically. Suddenly we have a whole raft of brown blends. So that said, I think we will keep crumb cake. I would think we'll keep soft suede, but yeah, bronze and ivory, I think, may go. But don't think that you're only going to be using these for blend, uh, for skin. Still dark in North Carolina, but worth waking up for. Oh, thank you, Barbara. So that's the front of one of my little otters. So let's do the front of the other one. I will stick with Pool Party because the, the paper that I'm using is Pool Party. Then the 700. They are such original names. This is SU 700. Got to love a squeaky blend. But these otters are so cute. And this one, 
Once the post is down, done on weight and parcel size, you'll be charged the greater in price. A small box will be a minimum of... Oh, 8 95 Oz is not that bad, actually. So our small parcel is a flat price. Um, so it's... I think it's £3.20 if you buy it at the post office. But if you do it online which is what I do because I can then just drop them into a parcel post box. Um, you save a bit of money and you just print the label yourself and you get something like a week in which to actually send it, um, to start it on its way. But I was suspecting that you were paying much more than that. Uh, standard letter is a dollar ten, which is actually not bad. We do have first and second class post, and so my t my um, small parcel rate that I've been talking about is the second class. But I use a parcel drop box on a local uh, business park, and I tended to find that they pick up. So I'll drop it off so that it catches the post one day and often it will arrive the following day um, and they they reckon that normally second class will be three to five working days so yeah awesome right I'm not going to worry too much about uh, water around this otter um, I mean, he's clearly on water, so I'll do a little bit, but not much. So there's our noses. So all I'm going to do for this is, with the brush end, just follow those lines, just so we get the idea that he's on water. Whereas this one, I will be a little more generous with and I'm actually going to extend my lines for this but I want to do that after I have coloured. dark fifty eight cents for a letter. Woo Yeah, that is good. <laughs> Wendy's managed to break into the website. Uh, she had problems with placing an order for some reason. I don't know why. Um, so yes, Wendy, it means you've got to go and place an order. You could get these blends, for example. I mean, the tonal blends. Right, so I want to extend these lines. So all I'm going to do is take my basic black marker and extend them like that. Simple as, you just received a Christmas card from your cousin in New Queensland. Yeah, it's overseas that's generally not great. I received a Christmas card from, oh, one of the team. Um, actually, it was, a, it was a present. It had a, it was a little parcel. Um, and it took about a month to get here and hasn't got to go that far. It's all within the UK. Judith, you're going to love these. They are gorgeous. Hello, Karen. So, um, that's that. So the only thing we've got left are our party hats. Now, this is Knight of Navy, so let me put away my misty moonlight, and I'm going to bring out my light Knight of Navy. Um, and I think I might just go pool party and Knight of Navy for these hats rather than 
bringing in the orange again. Oh, I must do the orange for the fish. Must do the orange for the fish. Hmm. Uh, hmm. No, I'm going to go knight of navy hat with pool party dots. The other thing I must do before I get much older is make my husband his Valentine's card, which I have yet to do. I mean, Valentine's isn't a huge thing in the UK. I know it is in the US and you have Galentine's and stuff. Um, not so much in the UK, which means I don't tend to concentrate on it that much, which means I often forget. Thank you, Karen. Uh, right, so this is the dark pool party. Uh, the reason I've decided to come over to the left is so that the right actually has a bit of time to dry before I come in with another colour. Otherwise I could end up with it blending where I don't want it to blend. There we go. So those are our colours. All I need to do now is add some adhesive. Actually, ha, I keep talking about I don't like adhesive um, on the thing I'm sticking. So let's put the adhesive where it's going to be stuck. And we'll just come in and do. So these are going to be stuck to the Knight of Navy, obviously, because I've already stuck it. Uh, Right, so it's birthday time goes into here, like that, and then I think I'll have my swimmy at the bottom, and my popping its head above the water at the top, like that. Then I've got a thick white card base, standard A6 card for those of us who are on international A4. Uh, for those of you in North America, this would be, I think I'm right in saying you're equivalent to um, A2. Do you know, Judith, I would suggest, you're going to think I'm mad, but I'm going to say it. Uh, why don't you get the starter kit? Because if you want all of these blends, the starter kit is £99 free postage. You get £130 worth of goodies and two extra stamp sets for free. And then you get a discount on all of your goodies until the end of July at least. So I know you're on my newsletter so I, w I sent out a thing about joining up last week so why don't you um, have a think. Happy to answer any questions that you may have but have a think. Right so those are today's cards. So this one is uh, inset and this one is not. Um, but they're so cute. Aren't they just the cutest little things? So yes, I hope you've enjoyed those. If you did, please give them a thumbs up. You'd be willing to go at A4, would you, Barbara? Yeah, international card sizes. I have no commitments, so it is a stamping play day today. Excellent, Karen. Did I forget to colour the fish? I did, I forgot to colour the fish. <gasps> We can soon resolve that. Thank you. Glad someone's concentrating, Helen, because I sure am not. Thank you. Glad you enjoy them. Hello, Leslie. Yes, you just got here in time. Uh, someone's just delivered something for me, but I'm going to leave that. It, I know what it is. It's my... Brenton, I've just got a T2 order. Just saying. And it's got pumping pomegranate and ooh, bread and butter. Because I love bread and butter pudding, so I'm looking forward to that. 
and I had a Cool for Cats mug and I broke the lid so I've had to buy another one which comes with French Earl Grey and is it English breakfast or Melbourne breakfast? I hope it's Melbourne because I like Melbourne breakfast. <laughs> Absolutely, Brenton. Second only to stamping up. Yay, T2. So this, thank you very much, Helen, for pointing out that I forgot to colour the fish. Um, they put a smile on your face. Good. So yes, do remember to give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. They're utterly adorable. Thank you, Brenton. Love these. Now which one to choose for Friday? Absolutely. This really is. This, this die set is definitely one to look at because it does the work for you. So particularly if you've got little images, you could even just inlay different cards, uh, different paper. So you could die cut, if you were very clever. In fact, if you die cut the two layers together, I've got an idea. Sorry, I'm going to just... I'm just going to show you something because something has just sprung to my mind and I've just got to share this. So I'm going to take that one and oh, let's go grey because otherwise it's going to look hideous. Um, I've just got a thought. They should be the same pattern. Anyway, if I hold them this, if I look at these, hopefully these are the, they're not the same pattern. Ooh. Anyway, doesn't matter. It'll be fine. Um, I am going to cut these for card fronts just so that they are card front size. So I'm cutting these at three and three quarters by five and a half. But I just, this is just a thought. If you want a really quick card, and obviously you can use any paper you want. Um, but if it's roughly the same sort of paper, I think this might look awesome. So, oof, let's bring this up again and get my plates. So I've got my two pieces layered together. They are only paper after all. Oh, I love the French Earl Grey. I'm not a great fan of ordinary Earl Grey, but the French Earl Grey is just, oh. Yeah, pumping pomegranate. Oh. I'm not saying you need all of the blends again, Judy. I'll drop you an email. I'm going to drop you an email. Uh, I'm thinking of all of these blends, but I will drop you an email. It's just a thought. Right, so I like yellow and grey as a colour combination. Just saying. Um... So, I've got things sticking to my plates. What I'm thinking is you can add you can just layer them in. Just thinking, you know. Just a thought. Or the other thing you can do is, 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 so that's one thought. The other thought, and obviously you do the same with this one, and just use it as a sort of jazzy background. The other thing you can do is turn them over. So rather than layering them in there, you can layer them in so that you've got the back and the front of the same colour showing. Just a thought as an idea, like that. Space scene would be fantastic. What are the dies? The dies are, picture this, they're in the annual catalogue and they are a standalone die. Uh, they're not part of a bundle. Um, I think they were new in the current catalogue. Anywho, so there we go. Let's get rid of those. Just a thought. Um, but particularly if you can get two patterns that are identical, just in a different colourway, um, that I think would be fun. So I'm going to flip the camera up so I can do a proper goodbye. Um, moons, absolutely. 
so there we go so thank you very much for joining me today um as i say if you've enjoyed it please do give it a thumbs up share all those good things um i will be back on thursday at 3 p.m uk time um i will be starting my top tip tuesday any day soon um i'm just trying to get a little bit ahead i've got a lot of cards to blog blog about um so i just need to get that done then i can start looking at doing top tip tuesday obviously i will leave tuesdays free um from an ordinary blog so i can do top tip tuesday anywho thank you very much indeed have a fantastic rest of your day uh and i will see you again very soon bye